This spring, just when we fell into COVID lockdown mode, I was sick for a couple of weeks. When I was well again, I sat up to paint in the apartment at home, rather than my large studio down in Newark. Like all of us, I've been confined much of the time to the small box I live in. The 30 or so paintings I've made since then came from a dream I had. Skinny figures, skeletons, use their bodies to act out, measure, divide, and define the inherent geometry of the support they're painted on. Their stick-like legs become the sides of polygons, and their joints become the points of intersections. They spell out with their limbs what's allotted to the interior of their rectangle. The diagonals corner to corner, the divisions of halves, the thirds, sometimes so-called golden section proportions. What I'm aware of in making them is a play of geometry. But the figures seem to develop gestures on their own as they bump against the edges and point to the basic grid of the canvas. They give me permission to paint dark fields of subtle color, building up in bright layers to something rich but muted. Within this body of work, Another dream had the colors underneath the dark layers coming to the surface. That happened when, still stuck in the same vertical box of the canvas, some figures billowed out. Fat figures that let the colors come through from underneath. They swelled out as if to fill the rectangle. While making these paintings, I've been anticipating a show of another group of recent works. My dream paintings. Abstract works, each in set with the handwritten text of one of my dreams. That show was to take place in May and June of 2020 at Minuspace Gallery, and it's on hold for now, to be fulfilled when it's safe to do so. Meanwhile, the scale model, a maquette of the gallery, is with me in my home studio, so I can anticipate hanging an arrangement of the works in the show. <laughs> 